Okay, today I'm going to show you how to upload a prescription to an Ag Leader Integra monitor. Um, there's two or three steps that um, go through this. I'm going to show you those today. Just to start on this first screen, this is your grower farm and field screen, 2016 crop. For the sake of today, since it's a test, I'm just going to um, uncheck Enable Management so it doesn't show the field and farm names. I'm going to go Next. This is where we can control our products. So if you have a different product on the left side of the planner in channel 1 than you do on the right, you can put in your different products. For today, I'm going to leave uh, 0589 on the left, and I'm going to change 1151. I'm going to have 1197 on the right, uh, right half of our planner as a split planner. I'm going to hit the next check mark, and we're going to start a new event. A new event will be created, controlling product of seeds. I'm going to go ahead and just check mark through that. The next thing will be the field notes. I'm just going to go ahead and skip through that. Don't really need to talk about that. There's two different ways you can get a prescription loaded. Um, you can either do it on this screen where your products are. and You can go into this little button right here. And, and you can see our little thumb drive with an RX right there. Shows you um, where you're at. <clears throat> you can push on that button. And, and these are the contents that are that are in this um, that are on the thumb drive. I'm going to push the plus button for RX folder, and I'm going to go down um, to a field right here and go ahead and load it up. This happens to be a pivot field. And one thing here I want to point out is you want to make sure that you have a default rate set in this zone. In, in this uh, value right here. This is set at 36,000. I'm going to leave that for today, but you can type in whatever you want. But you want to make sure that that's filled in so it so it plants um, even if you're outside of the boundary. I'm going to go ahead and check mark this and I'm going to leave this check used for all planted products so it does both sides of the planter. And we're going to say OK. That changed both hybrids, both my 0589 1197 to a planner RX. So I'm going to get out of here and go to our map screen. And this shows our our seeding rates for our pivot. As you can see half half of a pivot there. Uh, the other way that, that we can load the prescriptions is from, from right here. Is we can adjust our rates where you see rate 1, 2, and RX it's already set on on RX because we've already loaded it but you can also do it from this step right here um, one other thing I wanted to show you is I always get the question of how do I adjust my shutoffs I wanna just walk through um, how you set your how you can set your shutoffs to overlap more or less depending on your situation you can go back here to the to the setup screen you wanna go wrench and you want to make sure you're selected on your John Deere 1795 corn and you want to go into wrench again and here's where you want to hit automatic swath control settings and right here is a button called look ahead and these are the numbers that you want to adjust based on your situation you know, whether you're you're over applying or, or under applying based on digging behind the planter this is where you'll adjust these numbers based on your situation. We'll go ahead and, and uh, check mark through these. I'll go back to the map screen here for a minute. What we can go here, and, and this is going to show us as we plant through that field on our split planter of 0589 and 1197. And we can change this to RX rate. Which you can see those, those different rates there based on um, the different areas of of the field. So those were really the steps to upload your prescription. They're uh, pretty easy. You just have to put the prescriptions on a on a flash drive um, in an RX folder and they'll and the monitor will find them.